What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today we can finally play the One Piece card game. The tutorial app is out in Japan, but obviously, you know, modern technology and all that, we can play it over here. Now, what is especially exciting for people like you and I, if you go into the app, you can go into the settings, and under language, it starts with Japanese. This means language. This means Japanese. This means English. There you go. There we go. So you can literally just go into the settings, turn it to English, and then the entire app is just in English. Now, there are a couple of quick tutorial modes you can go through. We're not going to be focusing on them today. We're going to be playing a game with the Straw Hat Crew. Now, there is another one coming soon. I'm assuming this is the Kaido deck you can play with. For now, all we can do is play with this. So let's do it. Wait a second. Can I go as either? Oh, no. You have to select the opposing deck. There we go. Now, you can see here the actual deck list of the deck, which is rather nice. And, okay, so there we go. So we've got Straw Hat Crew. They've been Animal Kingdom Pirates. Let's start the battle. And I can actually show you some One Piece card game action, which is rather lovely. I know. And look, we're just playing with a couple of starter decks here. And ooh, there's no blockers, but there are some pretty cheap cards. We'll keep that hand. Remember, you can mulligan once if you so wish. Wait, did I mulligan anyway? I think I did. It's okay. We're still good. So we go first. We've got one Dawn down into the cost area. We only get one on turn one. So we can choose to either play Karu, who is quite powerful and has counter. Or we can go for Nami. We're going to play Nami because she's got a skill, which lets you give a rested Don to your leader and one of your characters. It's a really, really nice skill. We're not actually going to use it here. Whoopsie. So, oh, I think I've clicked on it, so I think I kind of have to. Doesn't really matter. So, we can't actually attack with either of these because it's turn one. So, we're just going to end our turn. And <laughs> the Don goes away. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. We shall be okay. Now, back to my turn. Don gets returned. I get two more, so I'm up to three. You get one on turn one, and you get two on every other turn. And now I've got three Don with which to work. So I need to try and take down my opponent. So, this dude's got Rush, I think. Let's use him. So, as long as I give him Don two, I get Rush. So what I need to do is give him two Don, which I can't actually do. However... I think if I use Nami's skill, I can pop it onto him. And then I can use Kaido's skill to put it, uh, excuse me, Luffy's skill to put it onto him. Now I have given him two Don. So even though I use the skills to give him the two Don, that still totally counts. Now I've activated Rush. And oh, this is very awkward. What do I want to do? I'm going to try and attack. They're probably going to counter. No, they're not going to counter. I win. And by win, I mean I get through and I take one of their life. Now, I've got one more Dom that I can use. I don't really want to attack with either of these two because they're incredibly weak. So, I think what I'm going to do is just play another character. See if we can get some attacks through on the following turn. So, we're going to pass the turn and it's over to my opponent. They get a couple of Dom. They go up to four. They've actually chosen to play Jack. Oh, they're attacking. Do I want to counter? Oh, I don't know if I want to counter or not, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. Let's counter. Let's go up to six. And then because I've gone up to six, I get to save myself. Uh, he's going as well. Do I want to counter with this dude? No, I'm going to let it go through. I kind of want to play him. He's quite powerful. Remember, when you lose a life, you do get that life into your hand. So I actually ended up gaining a blocker, which is brilliant. So the first thing I want to do on my turn is play that dude. That's pretty sweet. Now, he's my most powerful dude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the skill to put a rested Don onto him. Because there's no real downside. I'm now going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to play Nico. And then because I've got the rested Don... I can then use that Rested Don onto him. Remember, the Don cards give you an extra 1,000 power. Now, the regular Don, you can just attach as much as you like. 
So the rest did done, have been used to pay. These two characters can attach to gain the extra thousand power or to activate skills like we saw on here. Whereas the unrested Don, you can just attach, and that's what I'm going to do there. Put myself up to 7,000 power. Now, I think what I'm going to do is use Luffy to knock out that dude. Also give him a chance to counter. You can attack rested characters. And now I'm going to attack with this dude, hoping my opponent can't counter, and they can't, so I get to take another life. And this is the general loop of the game. Now, I do have two other characters with which I can attack, but the leader's got 5,000 power. These have got 1 and 3,000 power. These two have summoning sickness, so my turn is over. And this is the general loop of the game. What you're trying to do here... Oh, what have they done? So, that lets them put a Don back into their deck and draw a card. Yeah, the purple deck has a bit more draw power. So, am I going to block this attack? Oh, it's not that powerful. I only need to counter once. I'm not going to block. However, when it comes to countering, I am going to choose to counter. Give myself an extra thousand. And that means that I will survive. He won't get through. If there's a tie, the attacker wins. Oh, do I want to block this one? Yeah, I do want to block this one. And I don't need to counter because there's no way I'm getting that high enough to survive. So now I'm up by one life. This is not the end of the world. This is not bad. So. Now Zoro's kind of an interesting card. Now we are getting up to stage now because we're on our fourth turn. We've got seven Don. You get one turn one and you get two every turn after that. So we go up to seven. So what we can do is we can play this dude... And I've got three rested Don. However, because I can use the skill on Nami here, I can give a rested Don to that. Oh, he's got summoning sickness. I'm a dummy. Uh, sorry about that. But it's a nice look at the skill. When you give it a Don, you gain a thousand power. But the Don also has a thousand power. Uh, that was, however, somewhat rather silly. So now I can use his skill. To put an extra thousand onto Nico. And then what I can do is actually properly load up. So the Don can just be attached as you like. So here what I'm basically doing is giving myself three characters that have more than 5,000 power. So first, I attack with Luffy. And they're going to counter twice, three times. But that's alright. Because now they've used three counter cards. But I can still attack twice. So here I'm hoping they're out of counter cards. They are. I get to take away one of their life. This is good. I'm assuming they're still out of counter cards. So I get to take away another one of their life. But again, there's no point attacking with either of these two characters. Now what I could have done... I didn't want to. But what I could have done here was actually attached one of my Don to this dude. And then taken out this resting character. But... They can only attack four times. I've got four life. I can counter and block and all of that. So I think I'm going to be okay. Although I am running out of cards in my hand. <laughs> so, they play another character there. Ulti has got summoning sickness. Oh, that does let them play a card for free. And then they actually get down their stadium card. Or stage card as it is. And this is if your leader has an Animal Kingdom Pirates type. You add a Don card from your Don deck and rest it. So, am I going to counter here? I only need to get two attacks through next turn. So I am going to choose to counter. I want to save myself a little bit. Also, it goes to my turn here. Remember, they might have three characters to attack with, but they've got 4,000 power. And my leader's got 5,000. So in order to attack with any of these, they have to buff it up first. Which is what I intend doing. Now, I'm going to play this character. Oh, no. Now, remember, there is a limit to how many characters you can have out. But this dude is not doing any good. She's going to replace. And what I can do now, I've got two rested Don, so I can use Nami's skill to give a thousand to there. I can then use Luffy's skill, which is the same skill, to give a thousand to there. 
Now, that went up by 2,000, because remember what we've got here. When you give it a Don, you gain a 1,000 power. So I actually got up to 7. And then I've got 7 Don here that I'm not using. At the end of my turn, they're basically just going to, or beginning of my next turn, they're going to go back to here. So what I'm going to do now is just use those Don to buff up all of my dudes. And I'm going to get these all up to like seven or 8,000. Not Nami. She's only got 1,000 power. But as you can see, with Nami, all we're really doing here is using that to put Rested Don onto our characters. Now, in theory, two of these four attacks are going to go through and we're going to win the game. They can't counter the first one. Oh, but they do get Brachio Bomber not the end of the world it gets them a dom but in the scheme of things it's not really helping we then attack with that dude they have no life they are countering up to six but that's all they've got so we do attack when they've got empty life and we win the game and that's the general loop of the one piece tcg that's generally how the game works now you'll see here this advert is actually in japanese it's saying that on the first of july you can go and get the decks basically and it, it, it's brilliant i love this it's very 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 cool the general loop of the game is really quite simple as you can see from here every turn you play down two don cards and then you can use the don which are unrested to either pay for cards to go into play or you can attach them to your characters as you like Sometimes you've got skills like we see on Nami and Luffy here, which allow you to attach Rested Don, and sometimes you have skills that activate when Don are attached. It's a great game. I'm in. It's still early. It's still simple, but this is awesome, and I love it, and I want to play more of this game. And the good news is, soon we can. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you guys. Have you had a chance to play the game yet? What do you think? How do you think it looks from this tutorial? Let me know in the comment section. And don't judge me too harshly for attacking a Dawn to a character I just played that has summoning sickness. If nothing else, it gave us a nice example. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for Snow. Wait. Yeah, check out Twitch if you want. But mostly, Potentially check out the Patreon, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and go nuts in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Look after yourselves till next time. My name's Ross, and you've been watching a very excitable Wasi Plays.